chapter wise list of all my videos is available at this point for dvd pen drive please write an email to me these videos they do not require internet they play offline there is no problem of buffering and please subscribe to my channel for regular updates thank you thank you for your support once again we shall now take up all those questions in which two equations are given for example this one equation is given to you equal to 0 and the second equation is also given to you in the same question and he says plus 1 equal to 0 the question says that you have to solve both the equations for x and y and then determine whether x is more than y x is less than y x is more than or equal to y x is less than or equal to y or x is equal to y or no relation so you have five options this 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 and this one they say that solve these equations and determine the correct option let me explain the options one by one x more than y means both roots both roots x are more than both roots of y this means if one root is 3 and 6 for x then the roots for y will be 1 0 for example then this option will be marked correct how do you arrive at this compare this with the first root this is more so write a angle like this then compare this with the other it is more right compare this with this one this is also more so write another angle compare 6 with 0 this is more so write other angle in this case we have four angles we can definitely say that x is more than y this condition x less than y is similarly for the case where both roots of both roots x are smaller so when you compare you will get four angles pointing in this right direction then we have x more than or equal to y this case will hold when one of the roots of x will be equal to y whereas all others will have a more than sign take for example x is 3 and 6 and y also happens to be 3 and 2 then let us see how we can deduce that this is the relationship start with the first root compare with the first of y they are equal right equal to sign compare this first root with the second root you get this sign because 3 is more than 2 then take 6 6 is more than 3 again write more take 6 6 is more than 2 again write angle this way since in this case there is one equal to sign and all the others are unanimously more than sign then the relation that follows will be more than or equal to take the other case now x less than or equal to y in this case the relation could be less equal to less maybe another equal to that is in this case we have less signs or equal to signs this means the relation is going to be less than or equal to then he says there is other possibility of x equal to y and no relation if the case is 
x is equal to 2 2 y is equal to 2 2 then obviously 2 2 will be equal 2 2 will be equal 2 2 will be equal this will be equal so all equal to signs in that case this is the one option but in case the roots are like this x equal to 3 6 y equal to 3 8 so what would that be in that case 3 and 3 will be equal to sign 3 and 8 will be less than sign because 3 is less than 8 6 and 3 will be more than sign 6 and 8 will be less than sign we have four things in which there is no unanimity between the less than signs or greater than sign here you have a cocktail of signs so all the signs they are in different directions had all of them been in the same direction like in this case or in this case then we would have definitely picked one of the above options but whenever you find a cocktail of these inequalities a mixture of these inequalities you can surely say that no relation exists now i will take up many examples to help you solve these questions in an easy and often shortcut ways let us see how do we solve them let us take them one by one so our first question we'll take this one only x square minus 2x plus 1 equal to 0 and y square plus 2y plus 1 equal to 0 as a shortcut I'll tell you something but right now you have to find out the relation between x and y now there is first step you can make some simple observations if those observations don't work then you have to solve these equations and then make those comparisons which I was talking just now second is to solve them I will talk of simple observations right now what are simple observations you can make two simple observations don't go into complex observations just keep two in mind if roots alternate sorry if signs of if signs of a b and c alternate then both roots are then both roots are positive this is one observation that you should keep in mind so if my equation is ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 and I find that the sign of a is different from b and of b is different from c then we will say that the root the signs of a b and c they alternate they change from this to this and in such a case both roots will be positive the second observation that you can look for is if signs of a b and c are same then both roots are negative are negative so these two observations are our simple observations that you can make as your first shortcut many times the solution can be made with the help of these simple observations within one second and the second option would be to solve these completely what I will do is I will take both the situations in various examples let us see what is the current example to solve such questions draw a line I am drawing this line to explain you but in an exam you may not give complete solution you can do orally also a lot of practice you can take to help you do that so let us write our first equation on one side plus 1 equal to 0 
write the second equation on the right side plus 1 equal to 0. Now we observe signs alternate alternate so roots are both positive and in this case signs same so roots are negative now the signs alternate means this is plus this is minus this is plus signs are same plus plus and plus now we see that the roots of this are both positive the roots of this are both negative this means in any case x will be more than y because both are positive and both are negative whatever comparisons we make x is going to win in both the cases in all the four cases so this is one which we arrive at immediately but don't rush don't take it blindly sometimes this equation has no solution so cross check for your satisfaction and for confirmation that b square minus 4ac is positive let us check in this case b is what minus 2 square minus 4 into a is 1 and c is also 1 so this is 4 minus 4 equal to 0 which is more than or equal to 0 so the roots are possible and we are so far on the correct path make a similar check for this one similar check because if this one fails then this will no longer be our option we will have to say no relation exists let us make a similar check here b square minus 4ac which is equal to 2 square minus 4 into a into c which is equal to 4 minus 4 equal to 0 more than or equal to 0 so roots exist and therefore this is the correct option let us now take more examples to understand the whole story he says determine the relation for 6x square minus 3x plus 2 equal to 0 y square plus 2x plus 1 equal to 0 in this case also i will explain by drawing a line write the equation first here 6x square minus 3x plus 2 equal to 0 the second equation on this side so as our pre-check the signs of a b and c alternate plus minus plus so both roots are positive this is one thing and in this case signs of abc are same so both roots are negative both roots are positive both are negative so x more than y could be a possibility i am not blindly writing x more than y because cross checks are required cross check this one first b square minus 4ac it is equal to b is minus 3 square minus 4 into a is 6 and c is 2 which becomes 9 minus 24 48 which comes to less than 0 this means this equation has no roots has no roots we don't have to now check on the right side because if this equation has no roots then this is not possible then we have to write 
no relation exists. So we will now move on to our next question. To understand this idea, this method even more, the equations that he has given are 2x square plus 9x plus 10 equal to 0 and 4y square plus 28y plus 45 equal to 0. So we will draw a line here. Write first equation on this side plus 9x plus 10 equal to 0 and here it is 4y square plus 28y plus 45 equal to 0. So we will write our observation. Signs of a, b and c are same. So both roots are negative and on this side also signs are same and we have the same observation both roots are negative. So it is not possible to conclusively decide on the relationship at this point. We have now no other option except to solve both the equations. So we will have to solve this one first. Usual method is to find two numbers whose sum is equal to 9 and whose product is equal to 2 into 10 equal to 20. That is 4 multiplied by 5. Obviously we can see that both the numbers are 4 and 5 because 4 into 5 is 20 and 4 plus 5 is 9. Therefore the roots will be 4 by minus a which is minus 2 equal to minus 2 and the other root would be 5 by minus 2 which is equal to minus 5 by 2 and I can write it as minus 2.5. Why I have converted into decimal because decimal numbers they will be easier to compare as compared to rational numbers. So wherever possible I am converting them into decimal numbers. Now about this one. We have to find two numbers whose sum is 28 and whose product is 4 multiplied by 45 that is equal to 120, 180. If you are finding this a bit difficult then go through the previous videos. There I have explained this thread bear. This method I have explained fully. Now by inspection Such numbers are, are what? 10 and 18. 10 multiplied by 18 will be 180 and 10 plus 18 will be 28. Therefore, roots are, roots are, the first root will be 10 by minus a minus 4. So, I can say that it will be minus 5 by 2 that is minus 2.5 and the second root would be second root would be 18 by minus a that is minus 4 which is equal to minus 9 by 2 which is equal to minus 4.5 now we have everything that we need this one this one this one and this one let us start the cross comparison. Compare this one with this one first. Minus 2 is greater. So we will write greater sign comma. Compare this one with this one. Minus 2 is greater than minus 4.5. So we will write greater. Very carefully you have to do it. Even a person like me also commits mistakes many times. Be very careful. Now minus 2.5 and minus 2.5 they are equal 
एंड माइनस टू पॉइंट फाइव एंड माइनस फोर पॉइंट फाइव देयर माइनस टू पॉइंट फाइव इज मोर देन माइनस फोर पॉइंट फाइव सो आई हैव ग्रेटर ग्रेटर दे आर ऑल यूनैनिमस एंड देर इज वन इक्वल टू साइन सो माई आंसर वुड बी एक्स मोर देन और इक्वल टू वाई so each value on left side has to be compared with each value on the right side and you should get four relations look for unanimity and your answer comes in a millisecond let us take another example to understand further so he has given us 18 by x square plus 6 by x माइनस ट्वेल्व बाय एक्स स्केयर इक्वल टू एट बाय एक्स स्केयर दिस इज वन ही हैज गिवन द सेकंड इक्वेशन दैट ही हैज गिवन अस इज वाई क्यूब प्लस नाइन पॉइंट सिक्स एट माइनस फाइव पॉइंट सिक्स फोर इक्वल टू सिक्सटीन पॉइंट नाइन फाइव दिस इज आल्सो प्लस these equations are not both strictly quad uh, quadratic but these combinations are always given in exam so we will take both of the equations and we'll follow the systematic method for solving them let us take this one first okay this is 18 by x square plus 6 by x minus 12 by x square equal to 8 by x square let us now combine the like terms this one this one this one so better is we bring 8 by x square to the left side and combine all three in one place so 18 by x square minus 12 by x square minus 8 by x square plus 6 by x equal to 0 take out uh, we can simply combine them 18 denominators are same so if i have to write it i can write it in this way also 18 minus 12 minus 8 plus 6 by x equal to 0 which implies so what will this be 18 minus 12 is 6 and 6 minus 8 is minus 2 minus 2x square plus 6 by x equal to 0 So now we can take out common here. I am seeing two by x common, so it will be minus one by x plus three equal to zero. So now I can remove this one off. I am left with three minus one by x equal to zero, which implies three is equal to one by x. which implies x is equal to 3 i have removed this one but had it been x by 2 then i would have taken x equal to 0 as one of the solutions but x is in the denominator so 2 by x equal to 0 is not possible in our class 10th mathematics so we will not worry about this one that is for higher mathematics so we have just ignored this part but had it been x by 2 into minus 1 by x plus 3 then i would have got two solutions one is x equal to 0 the other one as usual x equal to 3 but right now i have one solution that is coming out of the left side let me now take up this one in this case i'll take these two terms to the right side 16.95 minus 9.68 plus 5.64 this question has been asked in one of the previous sbi or other ibps exams it is one of the question paper questions so this is 16.95 minus i can add them so it is something like this and when i carry on this subtraction i will get 36 1.63 
So I have right now y cube equal to 1.63. It is not possible for me to compare these directly. I can't compare y and x directly. So what I will do is I will try to bring x at par with y by cubing it. So cube of x equal to 3 will be x cube equal to 3 cube equal to 27. So instead of x and y, I'll compare their cubes and I immediately find that cube of x is more than cube of y cube uh, because 27 is more than 1.63. Therefore, we can say x is more than y. So this is a sort of presence of mind that you require here. You had x equal to 3 and we simply cubed it to reach our y cube and we made a comparison. So I am taking all different types of questions so that you are able to understand the concept. Let us move on to our next question.